Congress Member of Parliament Rahul Gandhi is in the eye of a storm after the Overseas Congress put out a picture of the MP from Vainad with UK Labour MP and a notorious India beta Jeremy Corbyn. The BJP has come out all guns blazing targeting Rahul Gandhi for consorting with anti-India elements. The Congress put out a picture of Jeremy Corbyn meeting Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2015. The spotlight on this big political war. This picture of Congress Party MP Rahul Gandhi with Jeremy Corbyn, a notorious India beta, UK politician and Sam Petroda, shared by the Indian Overseas Congress, has stirred a hornet's nest. The BJP came out all guns blazing, asking why is Rahul Gandhi with British Labour Party leader and a known anti-India politician. Shehzad Poonawala, Bharatiya Janta Party spokesperson, took to social media platform. He took to Twitter to hit out at Rahul Gandhi, saying, and I quote, whether it is meeting with anti-India elements like Jeremy Corbyn, who echo Pakistan propaganda on Kashmir, or signing MOU with Chinese and taking Chinese money into RGF, or meeting Chinese during Doklam, Rahul ka hath hamesha Bharat virodhiyon ke saath. Modi virodh mein desh virodh kyu? And Shehzad Poonawala is not the only one. Other BJP leaders, including Kapil Mishra, raised Jeremy Corbyn's anti-India stance and asked if Rahul Gandhi concurred with his views on Kashmir and Hindus. He tweeted, and I quote, What is Rahul Gandhi doing with Jeremy Corbyn, guy in the middle, in London? Jeremy Corbyn is infamous for anti-India, anti-Hindu stand. Jeremy Corbyn is openly advocating separation of Kashmir from India. Today, Rahul Gandhi is standing with the country. सवाल ये पैदा होता है कि ये कोई कोइंसिडेंस नहीं है ये कोई सहयोग नहीं है ये सोचा समझा प्रयोग है This is in the first time that the BJP has accused Rahul Gandhi of siding with those targeting India The BJP has repeatedly targeted Rahul Gandhi for meeting the Chinese ambassador during the Doklam standoff and accused Rahul Gandhi of pushing China's agenda Why is it that Mr Rahul Gandhi always wants to get a Chinese perspective on everything but he does not want to have an Indian perspective. Why was it that during the Doklam standoff, Mr. Rahul Gandhi kept every norm on the stands and did what he was not supposed to do, to meet the Chinese ambassador while there was a standoff, without keeping the government of India abreast about it? The Congress has come out strongly in support of Rahul Gandhi and hit out at the BJP tweeting a picture of Prime Minister Modi with Corbyn. This picture is from 2015, from Prime Minister Narendra Modi's maiden visit to UK. If this is the criteria, may I ask, why was Prime Minister Modi meeting up with the same person? Why was Prime Minister Modi actually having a formal engagement with the same person? Does it mean Modi ji has endorsed the entire agenda? Reacting to the barrage of BJP's tweets, Sam Petroda called the meeting with Jeremy Corbyn personal. He's an old friend and he called and he said, Sam, let's have a cup of tea at your hotel. So he came to our hotel. I had tea with him. Rahul sort of came down and you know, I introduced him to Rahul. It was a very personal meeting. Jeremy Corbyn is notorious India beta and has been known to peril Pakistan's agenda on Kashmir. In fact, after the action on Article 370 on 5th of August 2019, Jeremy Corbyn called the situation in Kashmir disturbing and wrongly accused India of human rights violation. He said, and I quote, The situation in Kashmir is deeply disturbing. Human rights abuses taking place are unacceptable. The rights of the Kashmiri people must be respected and the United Nations resolution implemented. Even the Labour Party distanced itself from Jeremy Corbyn's pro-Pakistan and anti-India stance on Kashmir. The BJP has accused Rahul Gandhi of endorsing a person known for his hatred towards India's stance on Kashmir. Bureau Report, India Today.